campaign featuring some of hockey's biggest names is confronting discrimination in sports. Since his accident, our family has fought hard to carry on his legacy and ensure that LGBT athletes around the world are afforded equal opportunity, judged only by their talent, character, and work ethic in their sport. Well, that's Brian Burke, along with his son Patrick, kick-starting the You Can Play project. It's a joint effort by the Burks and a number of NHL players to stamp out homophobic comments in the locker room. The late Brendan Burke came out while managing the Miami University hockey team. He was later killed in a car accident in 2010. Well, for more on this, we're joined by the CBC's David Common in New York. So, David, tell us more about this campaign. Well, Christine, Patrick Burke, who you see on that video, is a scout for the Philadelphia Flyers. His dad is the GM for the Leafs, Brian Burke, and of course, his brother was Brendan, uh, the man who came out uh, as being gay, uh, really the first in the pro sports world to do so. He was killed in a car accident a short time later. And this is really an effort to try to get gay slurs off the ice, out of the locker room, out of pro sports, not just pro hockey, trying to stamp it out in the professional sports world. And you think about gay slurs and you think about the sports world and they do often go hand in hand. You think about what happens inside dressing rooms and calling someone this name, even if it's not intended to be malicious. The idea of this campaign is having dozens of high-end hockey players saying to their colleagues, look, we can't do that anymore. It's just not a welcoming environment. The NHL does not have an openly gay player, but the aim is that if one day someone were to come out or someone who's already out comes up to the level of the NHL, the idea is that they ought to feel welcome. Now, Brian Burke, who's the GM of the Leafs, has come out many times, spoken about his son, often tearfully so, and he says that really this is just a simple issue, that he wants to carry on the legacy of his son, that we just need to stamp out homophobic comments and homophobic attitudes within the pro sports world. This public service message that's being released online and is being shown on some television stations is really an effort to do just that. It'll be interesting to see the reaction. David, thanks so much for this. Quite welcome. CBC's David Common in New York.